Hello out there, Tony Baker from Six String Country, back for another guitar lesson. And today we'll be looking at a song from John Prine, who recently passed away, one of my very favorite all-time songwriters. Uh, we'll take a look at his song, Angel from Montgomery. On the acoustic guitar, we've got a strummy part in G. And the only kind of tricky thing with this one on the acoustic is there's a measure of 3-4. Most of the song's in 4, 4 time signature. There's a measure of 3-4 that comes in throughout the song several times. Uh, but we'll take a detailed look at that. Then on the electric guitar, we're going to keep it really close to what we hear on the recording until we get to the outro, where we'll do a little jam and take a little guitar solo. acoustic guitar tutorial for Angel from Montgomery. We don't need a capo, standard tuning. Let's jump right in. For the intro, we're just going to do one strum per chord, a downstroke, and we'll start on this G. So for this kind of a G, we'll go third fret of low E, mute the A string, open D string, open G, open B, and then pinky finger is on third fret of the high E string. So we'll do that. We're going to keep the G note, this third fret of low E, in the bass this whole time. So the next chord is going to be a C over G, which is, you keep, you know, you keep your ring finger and your pinky finger exactly the same, but then you're going to put your middle finger down on the second fret of D, pointer finger on the first fret of B, the G stays open. All right, so the first chord is G, C over G, then back to G. And we're going to do, I guess if you're going to name this one, it would be a D7 sus over G. A nice sounding chord. So again, ring finger, pinky finger stay the same. And now you've got middle finger on the second fret of G. The D string is open and pointer finger still down on that first fret of B. Okay, and that's how it goes. G, C over G, G. D7 sus over G, and that repeats three times. And then we get into the verse. Well, we'll do some strumming. Uh, and for the verses, we're going to need to know this G, which we already know. And then we're just going to do a standard C chord in the verses. So we'll mute the slow E string, third fret of A. 2nd fret, open, 1st fret, 3rd fret. So your pinky can stay down as the anchor there, right? And then for the C. When we get to D's, you'll see, I'll just teach you this walk up right now. I'm only going to do a more of a D power chord here. Open D string, 2nd fret of G, 3rd fret of B. 
that E string can stay muted because this we're just going to be doing it quickly like this. That's going to be the move when we get to the D chord. So we hit the D, then open low E string, second fret, and then we get back to the G. And so the other thing we'll need here is this C. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the lead guitar part um, all the way through the outro, and then in a separate tutorial, we'll do the outro solo. All right, so let's just jump right in, right at the introduction. Uh, the acoustic guitar starts it off, and then we come in with this riff. Three, four, one. Okay, so we're in position three diatonic of the key of G. And we're gonna start on the seventh fret of G, comes in on the end of one, so one, and then 10th fret of B with two bands, back down, over to the G string, seven, nine, and then A to B. Three, four, one. All right, then we get into the verse, and we're, every verse we're gonna do this, and if you've got an option to put some tremolo on, I'm not gonna do it for the tutorial, but you'll hear it uh, in the jam along, uh, video and on John Prine's original recording the electric guitar player is slapping on some tremolo for the verses and it will look like this uh, one two three four one two three four so you take a measure off and then on the fourth beat of the next measure we're gonna hybrid pick this nine of D eight of B for the outro solo, I just made this solo up. Uh, I played this song a lot live, and I've seen you know, a lot of people cover this song. I saw Bonnie Raitt do it, and they, uh, they just jam. So it's a good song to jam on. So if, you wanna, if you're in a band situation and you can jam a little bit, the outro is a nice spot to do it. And uh, I'll go through the solo once all the way through, nice and slow, but in tempo. Then we'll talk through it note by note. All right, so here's how it looks. Three, four, one. 